Hey guys, Ray from Lovey RV. So this is an update to my update video on this Amper Time battery. I ran into problems with it intermittently uh, cutting out on me and I uh, posted a video showing the problem where it was uh, demoed uh, trying to power an inverter and I think the inverter thing of it kind of introduced a, a red herring into it and people started thinking it was the inverters problem and there was something about inrush current and that I was using too big of an inverter with it um, so they were kind of blaming the incompatibility between the inverter and the battery so I made a second video here to kind of more clearly demonstrate the problem so this is an amper time battery 200 amp hour um, 100 amp BMS in it um, originally had I demoed it with this inverter so what I've done is I've set up a, a, a test bed here I just wanted to do a diagram so you can kind of see what's going on easier when you when you see it on the tailgate with all kinds of wires running around so I have a charge converter charger here it's about a 50 or 60 amp and it's going to be able to charge this battery this battery will supply power to this inverter and all I'm going to plug into the inverter is a string of LED lights so they run off their AC type type deal but they only probably draw maybe like 12, 10 12 watts or something so it won't be much load at all but with this charger I sh I'll be able to charge up the inverter and we won't have any inrush current or anything like that going on um, and you'll see that the, the what the problem I'm facing also I'm going to uh, put this 12 volt air pump it draws about without a load it draws about 8 amps so it's another kind of DC load that you'll see it even has the problem with not an inverter but just an air pump and I'll finish the video showing how it should work I'll use an AO, AO lithium battery that works properly and you'll see how things should work so hopefully that'll make it a little more clear to you hey guys Ray from Love you RV so another update kind of follow-up video to the previous video I did on this amper time uh, 200 amp hour lithium battery so I updated you that it was having problems running DC load sometimes and it would just shut down the inside the internal battery management system the BMS would shut off it was kind of intermittent for me um, I put it into my RV system and you know suddenly I I'd, I'd find I was dead and then I find this thing had shut off um, put a charge or two it would come back on and work and then intermittently it was quitting so I found with this inverter I could re make the fault repeat now people kind of um, started to guess that the problem was this inverter being 1500 watts and the BMS in this being 100 amps this was too big I was getting too much inrush current that sort of thing but I kind of that kind of got off on a tangent so I'll just show you that it's not really any inrush current problem um, set up a little test bed here here's a charger so I'm going to turn on this charger and then we'll turn on the inverter okay so charger's on it's actually charging at 53 amps right now so 50 amp charger or 60 amp charger and we can turn on the inverter And I don't know if you can see the lights came on there. I just have a string of lights to show you power's coming out. It says 13 volts or so. So this inverter now is inrush current is over. It's the caps are charged up. Um, so now I'm going to just turn off the, the this charger. And you can see this inverter quit because the battery has quit see the voltage dropped way down so basically the BMS in this battery is turned off so it wasn't anything to do with an inrush type current because the thing was actually running when it happened all I did was I took this charger off so I stopped charging um, similar to like if you were solar charging and a cloud went over and suddenly you had no charging power so um, just to make to get this inverter out of the question I got a, a a battery pump over here that's a 12 volt or a tire pump that's a 12 volt uh, compressor in it and we'll do a test with it okay so I've hooked up the air compressor 12 volt air compressor let's turn it on there see 13.3 the compressor draws 8.6 amps so battery's working fine now I'm going to turn on the charger 
Okay, charger is charging the battery. The battery is supplying DC to power this. Now watch what happens when I turn off the charging. And unplug the charger. You can see that voltage drop there. Plug the charger back in. Okay, charger's back in. Now watch when I unplug the charger. You can see the voltage dropped way down. The charger turned off and then it came back. So that's definitely not a right thing for this BMS to do. I've never had that issue with any battery. You know, if, it's, if this was a cloudy cloud came over your solar panel and the charging dipped down or you just unplugged from shore power and all of a sudden everything in your RV is going to die. So definitely I feel something's wrong with this battery management system in here. And uh, I had contacted Amper Time and they looked at my previous video and they felt it was a, a faulty BMS as well. So they're going to send me a, another battery to test. So I'll be sure to update you on that when I get it. Next I'm going to repeat the tests with a with a good battery, one that's working properly. This is an AO Lithium. It's a 100 amp hour, but it's got a 100 amp uh, battery management system BMS board in there, so comparable. So I've hooked it up the same way with my chargers and, and loads. So we'll just turn on this uh, inverter. And you see it turns on no problem. I'm not even, the charger's not even on, it's just running off the battery. Go over here, turn this on, no issues. It will turn the charger on. You'd hear the mo that thing speed up, we're up to 13 volts. This thing's still working. Now we'll just get the charger out of circuit. Everything remains running. Voltage came down a bit because it's not charging anymore, but it didn't kill everything and then come back on. So that's how they're supposed to work. Well, there you go. Definitely a problem with that battery. I have been in touch with the company and they're going to send me out a battery uh, to test another one. Um, just I'll test it with that inverter and everything and, and see if it's if it's any different. Uh, they have changed their name recently. They were Ampere Time. Now they're called Lee time, they say that's how it's pronounced. I guess it stands for lithium time. Um, they've been pretty responsive uh, via email, answer me quite quickly and trying to get it sorted out. But they, they do figure um, by looking at my last video that it's the BMS. So we'll see when I get the new battery. I'll do a test and post an update. Till next time, Ray from Love You RV. Cheers, guys.